Hey guys, Nick here. I wanted to take a couple minutes and go over. I had some questions about the uh, wiring on the Opto cable for the Hobby Wings to deal with the RPM output issue on the version 4 ESC. So I thought I'd just do a quick video and show you rather than try and explain it. What I've got here is a version 4 80 amp. Uh, it's set up basically the same as all of the version 4s are. Uh, you have your speed controller lead for the ESC and the throttle and the BEC on one and then you have your secondary lead which has your redundant power for the BEC and your signal for the RPM output. Uh, so what we have, what I've got here is this is the Scorpion Opto cable. Uh, comes with a male and it's clearly labeled here as far as signal out and ESC. What I did, since what we need to do is we need to power uh, the opto cable for it to work. So what I did is I just went ahead and cut the power in the ground out of the female connector, left the pins in, no worries there, and then crimped on uh, a male servo connector to the power and the ground. Now, why did I do that? Well, it's because I need to power this and this, obviously, it has no power in it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our signal wire, signal wire coming from the speed controller. That's gonna go in here. I'm gonna take uh, the new male connector, put that in a spare power source that we have uh, on our fly barless unit. This one just happens to be the three digi because it's the only one I had sitting on the bench. And then now we have our new output signal coming out of the opto cable that is, for better terms, we'll just call it conditioned and clean, uh, that the fly wireless system will be happy with. And we can go ahead and plug that into the RPM. So that right there. Um, will solve your problems temporarily until um, Hobby Wing figures out how and what they're going to do. I have had success with this on the mini V-Bar, full-size V-Bar, and basically any of the other fly barless systems that aren't happy with it. Brain doesn't seem to be having a problem, and the 3Digi actually has a parameter in there to invert the uh, what it's looking for in the signal to a pull-down, and then um, that one doesn't seem to have have an issue either. So it doesn't just apply to the mini V bars. If you're having any sort of RPM input error on your logs, throw one of these in line, wire it up like this, and you should be good to go.